Okay folks, I don't know how I get it right to always choose a day when the wind is howling but um, I've been threatening to come on the high tide for a while and uh, so I've come down this afternoon you can see the sea is quite angry it's got a big energy to it it's not that big but it's, it's got a massive energy and if I focus down below me here and it's about a 3 meter drop you see my shadow there you can see how fast the water is rowing into flowing into the mouth I think the channel is quite deep but uh, look, I just love this channel, I think it's amazing. I go up there, let's see the, the cormorant in the, in the water there. And uh, that chap was in front of me just now. Okay, let me move around to the front. It's nice to see this place now on the high tide. Yeah, like I said, I came down this afternoon and I found this dude, old James. This oak is the master of catching perch on artificial lures. But there's one thing that concerns me. Every time I'm with him, I must be the bad luck because we never catch anything. So I said to him, I'm going to wait here until he catches a fish. And as you can see, folks, he's fishing very light tackle and uh, just uh, flicking the, the lure across the bottom of the, of the estuary here or the, where the exit is coming out, the mouth. So we'll stick around and see if we can get a fish. So also, it's quite interesting now on the high tide. If you can see the contour here and if you watch the, the, the scum line and um, as it goes I'll zoom across like this and you can see where the channel is actually flowing so the deeper water is on the left hand side of that scum line and then this bank a little pinnacle coming out here and, and right in front of me there's a little bay here and uh, James was fishing this area because um, of the drop off really interesting to see it on the high tide totally different and uh yeah i'm enjoying this windy again unfortunately but uh it is what it is you see here where the scum line is i think this is where the the salt water is ending and the reason for it is that there's no water coming over that bank and so uh the sea water is trying to push in we are trying to explain i've done it before if you've got a bathtub and you're trying to fill the bathtub from the plug in so it's very difficult to push the water in through the plug to fill up the bathtub and this is basically what's happening here so sadly there's not a lot of salt water entering into the system at the moment so i'll come up to the pinnacle and uh, there are the hippos there in the back there i'm not sure if you can see them i'll zoom them in quickly I think there's a lot of salt water in here um, but uh, what happens is obviously with the, the sea water blocking the fresh water from coming out it just basically dams up behind us but um, yeah it looks not bad as I say totally different to on the, the low tide up along in the back there and obviously that's where the Amphalosi comes out but yeah folks, pretty interesting to see on the high tide, always been here on the low. Obviously with the low, what is nice is that you can, uh, you can get depths and perspective of how deep the channel is, etc, etc. Which you can't on the high tide. But uh, yeah, still looking good. Not sure how deep the channel is. I have to someday come again, have a look on the, on the low and uh, see what it looks like. But folks, until the next video, be safe everybody.